tie your tie? Oh, I'm so nervous, I'm all thumbs, Allie. Oh, there's nothing to be nervous about, Miss Christie. The children are only going to get to see their daddy. It's just a sudden change of heart that I don't understand. He hasn't so much as called us in the last six months. Sometimes even a man comes to his senses. Uh-oh, there he is. Come to your daddy. Come on. Ah! Oh, oh, the big boy. Now the little baby. Yeah. <laughs> Walter, why don't you and Allie get the children in the car? I want to talk to Mrs. Crossman alone for a moment. Christy, I'd uh, I'd like to have a little word with you. What about Alan? Surprise. You're acting very strangely. Well, I thought he might close up the house for a couple of months, take the children on a nice little trip. Oh, Alan, that's wonderful. They'll love that. When will we be back? You won't be coming back, Christy. What are you talking about? Where's he taking them? Don't make it any harder than necessary. Get out of my way! Movers will be in this afternoon. It'll be a lot tidier if you're not here. And uh, this will take care of you for a while. I don't want your money, Alan. I want my children. Uh, I want you to take it. You'll know just what to do with it. After all, you've been on the bottom before, my dear. Alan, I want my children back. Alan, you can't do this to me. I want them back. Please don't take my babies. <laughs> no, no, come back. Please. <laughs> Walking down Fifth Avenue in front of Tiffany. Oh, you like that, huh? Good. Good. Okay, a little closer to good. Oh, Danny, Danny. What? Christy Collins is here. Christy Collins, she's here. Release the girls. Okay, uh, uh, ladies, it's that time of day we've all looked forward to with the dedication that has made you the most sought after models in the entire world. Cut the con, Rick, and get to the point. The point is, that's it for today. Yes! <laughs> Thanks, Rick. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Christy? <laughs> Nothing changes. No, that's not true. I've changed, haven't I? I know I look terrible. The last six months have been... Unbelievable. I heard about it. Everything you said came true. You lie down with dogs, you get up with fleas. If you get up at all. I am sorry. Well, for what it's worth, so am I. I've paid for all the shortcuts and the easy rides. As for what I put you through, I... You don't have to apologize to me. Is there something I can do? <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be here if I didn't want something, right? <laughs> Same old Christy. Why don't you just tell me what it is? Danny, I really need a modeling job. I've got to get back down to the Bahamas, and I know you do a lot of shoots down there. You don't have enough money for a plane fare? I've spent every dime I have. I've hawked every piece of jewelry, my car, even most of my clothes. All to get my children back, and now I don't even have enough money to visit them. Look, I know I look terrible, but with a little bit of makeup, I could really... <clears throat> uh, if it's a modeling job you want, you got it. Really? Yeah, really. I won't forget this. It's okay. Whoa, who was that? Oh, only probably the second biggest disappointment in my life. She wouldn't disappoint me, I'll tell you that. That's her strength, her looks. Picture of innocence. They always said she had a million dollar face. Said she had it all. Well, I got news for you. She's still got a hell of a lot of it left. Outside, sure. Inside, I'm not so sure. Oh, come on. Aren't you being a little hard on her? No. She used me and some of the other models to get what she wanted. She even risked putting some of the girls in jail. Well, maybe you're not being hard enough on her. Why even talk to her? She came and asked me for a modeling job. Well, how can you help? You're not in straight fashion anymore. But if I know Christy, she's not into straight modeling either. I'm going to go talk to Henry. I think we've got a job. You know, when you 
called. I just couldn't believe you wanted to get back into action. Does that mean you're not taking me on? You know how I've always felt about you. I just thought that if you had to clear it with Alan, I'd be out before I got back in. Look, I'm my own boss. If I want to help out an old friend, I'd do it. I guess my only mistake was in marrying Alan instead of you. Anyway, when do I pick up the money? Right now. Deliver this to Cayman International. You bank it in the name of American Offshore Trust. Dante, don't worry about me. I'm through trying to be cute. I believe you. Good luck. Don't look like you just ran over your own dog. I'll make it up to you. I always liked it. So what are you gonna do? Tip the police and have her arrested? <laughs> I've gotta get her out of my hair somehow. I mean, she just won't back off. Maybe she loves her kids. Michael, don't get your loyalties mixed up. Look, you're gonna have to make good that 25,000 in the briefcase. I cannot have that much unaccounted for in the counting room. All right, so don't worry about it. I'll make good the 25,000. Have a drink. Her husband is Alan Crossland. Alan Crossland, the mob's banker? King Rat. I thought that would get your attention. That man is a monster, Daniel. If there was some way that we could help your friend and get him at the same time. I thought you'd see the humanity in this case. What does Christy want from you? Oh, she wants a job. Anything else? She didn't say so, but I think she wants enough money to fight for her kids, and there's no way in the world she can make that kind of money modeling. You don't think that she's gotten her former job back? That's exactly what I think. And she wants a job from me to cover for her trip down to the banks in the Bahamas. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's get this straight. You want to go to all the trouble of taking on the mob to help a girl who not only let you down when you gave her a start, but who's lying to you even now? It's not just Christy. She wasn't the only girl that used to model for me that ended up being used by Crosland. I want him stopped. Simple revenge. Huh, I like that. I think I could sell it to the department. Oh, there's that one particular harbor Sheltered from Children play on the shore each day. Okay, give me number one. That's it. Okay, Christy. Give me that million dollar luck. Good. So far, but yet so Okay, Mac, why don't you step out? I can see the day. Christy, why don't you get up front and we'll take some singles? Okay. Give me that million dollar luck. Good. All right, now I can take a break. Down one. Being kind of obvious, huh? You and just about every other guy that ever looked at her. That could be cool. You know, this would not be a bad time for you to go and check her luggage, see if she's carrying a large sum of money. Yeah, but Danny, I don't feel right about this. I think you and Henry are wrong about Christy. She's too nice a person to be using us. You guys are so gullible. <laughs> This is not the first girl I ever met in my life, you know. Why can't you just admit you might be wrong? Sure. If you remember not to get involved, she's a user. <laughs> I can take care of myself, okay? Hi there. Well, says you can call it a day. By the way, you know, we didn't get a chance to really say hi. Name's Mac. How are you? Do you mind giving me a hand? I just barely got in from the airport and I haven't had a chance to check into the hotel yet. No. Oh, no, mind. not this one. Uh, I'd rather you take that one. Fine. And this one. This one. <laughs> it's a big one. Uh, I hope you don't mind. No, no, no mind. No problem. Room 714. 714, right? <laughs> Sorry it took me so long, I had to change my clothes. You know, this is so nice of you. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Oh, no, I don't mind. Look, I was thinking, since you're new on board, maybe you'll uh, 
I could get something to eat or something. I am falling down tired, oh. and if I don't get a shower in the next 20 seconds, I'm going to die. Um, maybe some other time. It's nice meeting you. kind of kiss for the best friend you have in the whole world. Oh, Michael, you're a lifesaver. <laughs> oh, don't bother unpacking. I've got you all set up over at my place. Your place? Well, that's very nice of you, Michael, but I really couldn't. Honey, I stuck my neck out a mile letting you come back to work for us. Michael, you're like a brother. Brother? <laughs> you think I'm your brother? Yes, I'm judge of character. Do you know why you're here? Because Alan set it up. He wants you to make that walk to the bank tomorrow and watch the police arrest you and take you away for good so you can't hassle him anymore about those kids. And you agreed to do that to me? What do you think? That I can make one move without him knowing about it? Come on. No. Now, what I agreed to do was let Alan think I was going to help bury you. You see, he's the next guy up the ladder. There is a way that I can help both of us by getting rid of him. What? Now, if you work with me on this, we both get what we want. I get his fat ticket, you get your kids. We get each other. Perfect? I don't believe this is happening. Am I so hard to take? No, that's not what I meant, Michael. I'm just not up to taking on Alan Crossland. I just want my children back. Come on, Christy. By now, you should know how this game's played. Now, give me the briefcase, and I set it up so that Alan takes the fall. Michael, I can't. I'm just too scared. Uh, no. A foxy little lady like you isn't scared. I'm just not good enough. Oh. The case, little girl. Oh. Ron, Miss Collins and I weren't able to come to terms. So enjoy yourself and make it look like a simple case of robbery homicide, oh. OK? No! Stay away from me! Don't touch me! No! <gasps> over your statement again. You say Mr. Dolan broke into your room, but the door was not forced. And you, Mr. Harper, you say you happened by, and you got into the room without forcing any doors. You found Miss Collins struggling with an intruder, and you threw the intruder out the window. No, I threw him off Miss Collins. It was his idea to go through the window. Not very amusing. Well, look, it happened just the way she told you. I'm a witness. You can't be a witness when you're the defendant. Okay, I'm the defendant. Hold me. But a demand you let her go. She's been through enough for one day. Easy on the demand. She has not been through nearly as much as the gentleman who's embedded in the hotel parking lot. And I think you're stretching a point to call anyone a gentleman who works for Michael Dante. If you'll excuse me for a moment, I uh, must make a phone call. Christy, you think it was wise to start throwing names around? But I think it'll get us out. Huh? Well, Dante can't kill me if I'm in jail. Not if I point at the flaw in your logic, Christy. Why? He certainly can't do anything to us in front of the jail. We'll just get a cab right to the hotel. For the mother of two, you sure seem calm in the face of all these criminals. 
Marriage can be very educational. Especially when you find out your husband is banker to the FBI's 10 most wanted list. Speaking of surprises, what about you? Oh, I'm not even on the list. <laughs> no, but you were in my closet. Mind telling me why? The truth, or do we continue on like we have been? I'm willing to switch gears. All right. Danny didn't trust you not to be carrying a load of the illegal funds into the islands. Smart lady. Wish I could say she was wrong. Thanks for the call, Inspector, but I strongly suggest you let them go. I can provide witnesses to the fact that Mr. Harper acted in self-defense. I'm afraid our former employee was way off base. I knew you'd understand. I look forward to seeing you at our tables again, as usual. Why do you want him loose? How else can you kill her? Or that guy who's with her? I can't let Crossland know that I took the money and tried to put the make on her. Now get over there and finish the job. Well, you were right about everything except the cabs. There aren't any. I'm sure they wouldn't be so brazen as to try anything this close to the police. Uh-oh. Uh, across the street in the park. She's only about a block away through that brush. Shh, shh, get down. They're not far behind us. Look, you keep going. Head through to the beach and then double back to the hotel, all right? What are you going to do? This is the kind of terrain I was trained to survive in. I believe I can keep these guys occupied for a bit. Anything I can do? Now that you mentioned it, give me your shoe. The other one, come on. I won't ask you what you're going to do with the ladies' high heels. Uh, it's a personal thing. Now get going. Stay down. level with you, Danny, but what would I have said? I need a modeling job so I can smuggle some money into the Bahamas? I had no idea you had contacts like Henry. So let's start again. What happened in that other room that ended up with a dead person? Dante made a move to take the money I was sent in with. He said it would help him move up into Alan's job. <laughs> Fascinating. Well, it seems that we do have Dante in quite a predicament. He's got the money, but you're still alive, so he can't see it disappeared because you might tell the truth about his plans to move up into Crossland's job. I'd like to know what his plan is. Yeah. It might be in our interest to help him, temporarily at least. Room service. I see you're all right. Mac, am I glad to see you. How did you get these two up here? Freight elevator. Figured you know how to put them on ice, Henry, while we uh, look for the money. What good is the money going to do us now? They'll never let you make a deposit now. No, no, wait a minute. If Dante really has a good plan to bring Crossland down, maybe we can still use it. Help her get her kids back. 
and the account numbers for you. I'd like to help Dante, but we've got to find out what his plan is. Oh, they'll tell us, won't you, boys? If we tell you, we're as good as dead. And if you don't tell us, you're still as good as dead. Excuse me. Maybe you can help me. Well, just tell me how. I don't want to say this too loudly, but I'm carrying a bit more cash than I'm used to. What kind of money are we talking about, miss? Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand? Yes. Well, I think Mr. Dante would like to handle your account personally. Would you follow me, please? Fine, thank you. See you later. <laughs> Come in. Mr. Dante, this is... Uh... Danielle Reynolds. I have a feeling with Matt. Well, I've been here a few times in the past. Uh, Miss Reynolds has a little more cash than she's comfortable with. I would uh, feel better if it were in your safe. I'm afraid I'll have to verify the amount if you intend to play against it. <laughs> Certainly. Fifty thousand? Correct. You know, Miss Reynolds, that's an awful lot of money for a lady to be carrying around. Are you a frequent gambler? Compulsive, I believe they call it. Well, don't get hurt out there. I'll be careful. Oh, by the way, I believe you know one of my girls, Christy Collins. One of your girls? Yes, one of my models. She said she was looking forward to seeing you. You mean she's here? Now? Yes. Just outside, at the bar. If you'll excuse me. Miss Reynolds? No more bets. We're rolling. Thank you. Dun dun, dun dun dun. What? Dun dun, dun dun dun. It, it's the code to get into the offices. Oh, I know. I couldn't get the combination to the safe because he was standing in front of it. But it's behind big picture. Dun, 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 dun. No. no. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Got it. doing here I believe you have something that belongs to me if I don't walk out of here with that briefcase Michael I'm going to call my darling ex-husband and tell him exactly what you tried to pull he'll never believe you oh yes he will when he finds out your gorilla fell out of my hotel window you're too smart to have come here without something up your sleeve maybe I've decided to make a deal
Sure. What's, what's Our friend just had her purse stolen. Could you come right away? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Don't worry. I'm suddenly supposed to believe that I'm your dream boy. No, I didn't say that. I just said that I've learned my lesson and I'd rather be alive than dead. Who's the big guy that came to your rescue? Name's Mac Harper. He's one of the models working here in Canaan. Just a model. Man who handles himself like that. Check him out. You've got all the computers in the world. Foxy as ever. You know, that's why I just can't figure you throwing in the towel. This, you'll bet. Sorry, I've got to check the counting room upstairs and it's uh, off limits to everyone. Ah! Oh. If you just step in the office with me, we'll fill out the proper forms. Wait, I think I see the man who took it. I better get those forms. Thanks a lot. You're up with my date. Hey, the guy who's been helping her. Oh. I'll uh, take this for you. Excuse me. I wouldn't get cute. I've got this thing uh, aimed at your belly. Oh, and I wouldn't call security. That briefcase you stole from me is probably halfway across the island by now. Mm. And uh, believe me, You'll need us alive if you don't want Crosland to kill you. Or you'll find instructions in your safe about how to get in touch with us. If you think I'm going to help you nail Crosland, you're crazy. I might as well put a bullet in my own head. We're only interested in getting Christie's children back. Think it over, Mr. Dante. I think you'll find you only have one move. I got hit. We got hit for a million dollars. Sit down, please. Thank you. Orange juice, coffee, anything? No, thank you. Well, I'm honored, Mrs. Reynolds, although I, I must admit I didn't quite understand the message. Well, that's why I'm here, to explain the message, Mr. Crossland. Ah, uh, Alan. Alan, I don't like your using my models to transfer illegal funds from the United States into your bank accounts. Well, you're quite blunt, I mean, even if I knew what you were talking about, which of course I don't. Well, I assume you came here with a reason. I have a deal. I will save you on one condition. You never touch one of my girls again, ever. And what is it that you think you have to offer me in return? You had Michael Dante give your wife a briefcase in Las Vegas one week ago. You told him it contained $25,000. When he intercepted that briefcase here and opened it, he said it contained $1 million. Which means you and your wife have a lovely plan whereby you're going to pocket $1 million, which does not belong to you. But there's only one problem, you see. There's no million dollars. Yes, there is. Michael Dante put it in the bank in your name. So it seems that he and your wife are plotting against you. 
He hasn't got the nerve. Consider this. A beautiful woman with a lot of hate can get a man to do almost anything. And you know Michael Dante is crazy about your wife. Mm, that part is true. And you're very, very convincing. But how do I know any of this is true? Uh, do excuse me, sir. Mr. Michael Dante is on the line. Do you care to speak with him? Yeah. Excuse me. You're up early, Michael? Yeah, well, I just thought you should know your wife didn't make the deposit at the bank as scheduled. No? No. What do you think she's up to? I don't know. Want me to pick her up and get the briefcase? No, I'd rather have the pleasure. Where is she now, in your room? <laughs> Why did you say a thing like that? No, she's staying at the Royal Hotel, only that's not where she wants to meet you. Where does she want to meet me, Michael? At the airport. She said that if you bring the children, she'll give you back the briefcase. And if you don't, she'll open it and you'll take the consequences. Michael, the only problem is that what consequences could there be in a lousy $25,000? Well, you see, that's the odd part, Alan. There's a rumor going around that uh, the hotel in Vegas is short close to a million. And some people think you may have had something to do with it. Set the meeting, Michael. Be sure you're there, too. Inspector, what's the, um, the penalty for kidnapping in Cayman? Hanging. Have you someone in mind? Well, it would appear my ex-wife would like to exchange my children for one million dollars, which she somehow misappropriated from funds for which I am responsible. How is that possible? You have a reputation for being a financial fortress. Well, apparently she's taken up with some very, very bad company. I mean, naturally, I wouldn't entertain this exchange for her money alone. But I must find out who is in league with her. If a crime has been committed in my jurisdiction, I assure you, I will get to the bottom of it. As a condition of exchange, she requests you guarantee the safety of the children. I would do that in any case. However, I am not comfortable with the idea of paying ransom in my jurisdiction. So I'm going to have enough men on hand to apprehend these people once the children and the ransom are isolated. Just make sure she has possession of the children long enough to make the charge stick. In case you haven't met, this is 000-888-7614, Milton Cusworth. He's the father of computer bank fraud. How do you do? What beautiful ladies. Milton, you do what you say you're going to do, and I have reason to believe we might get your sentence, well, adjusted. Nine o'clock, Henry. Bank opens in an hour. If they smell anything, they could be waiting for us. Just give me time to call up the bank's computer, so I'll be ready for the deposit. Guards opening up. Let's go. Be careful now. Mind telling me what's supposed to happen? Well, it's all very simple, actually. I mean, you see, you guys keep your banking secrets uh, very carefully guarded. Now, if the feds knew the numbers of your accounts, well, they could just trace all of your criminal activity. So naturally, you don't go around broadcasting that information to the whole world. Uh, that is up until now. Until now? Shh. It's going down. Good morning. And what can I do for you? I have a deposit to make. One million dollars in this name. American Offshore Trust. One million dollars. And it's got to be recorded immediately. It'll go right into the computer. Thank you very much. I'll prepare your receipt. Now what happens? I've asked the bank's computer to tell me the number of any account with a deposit of at least a million dollars at a 10.05 this morning. <laughs> Can't be too many of those. And you're sure the computer will tell you? Oh, I could make this computer whistle Dixie in the key of R if I wanted to. Now, as soon as I get hold of the mob's dump account number, well, I can just trace all those transactions and get their account numbers of all their accounts all over the world. It's like dominoes. One account tipping into the next. Wait a minute. You told me we were going to nail Crossland. You didn't say anything about pulling the roof down on everyone. Oh, didn't I? Guess that part slipped our mind, huh? I was 
scared to death. Did it work? Did it work? How could it fail? I'm the Arnold Schwarzenegger of modern day bank robbery. I mean, I'm a giant. <laughs> Now, these are the outfits we picked up locally for the ground crew. Now, you wouldn't have to know where Mac is, would you? Because these are his clothes. Yeah, I think he's going to have a last-minute fitting. Well, what about Christy? Christy. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about where Christy is. It's kind of a long story. Don't ask questions. I got, hey, don't ask questions. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. If he was referring to Christy Collins, I have an interest in her whereabouts myself. I'm Inspector Jordan, Cayman Police. Oh, hello. I'm Danny Reynolds, commercial photographer. I, I do have a permit to shoot here. It isn't necessary. Oh. Um, tell me something. Is the security around here always so tight? We've had rumors of an incident. Incident? Well, I hope my people aren't in any danger. Not as long as a fashion shoot is their only reason for being at this airport. I'm sure you have the channels to check this out. You'll find that I'm perfectly legitimate. And uh, what about Miss Collins? Has she no other reason for being here than her work? Oh, yes, she does. Very important one. The children. What about them? Well, she's hoping their father will bring them for a visit. You see, he's in arrears on visitation rights. Then I suppose it is completely unnecessary for me to warn you that I'll be watching everything very carefully. I hope I give you a lot to see. What's going on? What are they up to? Modeling, if I'm to believe Mrs. Reynolds. If that's how they plan to get my children out of here. It's an obvious sham. We'll be watching them carefully. However, one question will come up. If there is an exchange, and if you press charges, or extortion, or kidnapping. What question? The source of the one million dollars your wife is turning over to you. It's confidential. Then it becomes a matter of her word against yours. And she will say it's simply in her money. In that case, it becomes a personal matter between the two of you. You know, Inspector, I suggest you spend a little less time on technicalities and more about making your men keep your eye on that plane and out of the girls out here. I hope you understand I have to ask you to turn the children over to get them away from possible danger. Allie, I want you and the children to go with this uh, officer here. All right, ready? Okay, come on. Okay, girls. Hold it. A little this way. Good. Thank you. Awful lot of cops out here. Yeah, did you ever feel it was the bottom of the ninth and the clean up hitter with a pitcher with a broken leg? Does this look like the work of a pitcher with a broken leg? This is it? This little piece of paper? Think of it as an atomic bomb. That number in the police's hands mean the mob's bucket has a hole in it, and only one man in all the world is responsible. Mac! Now, this, this is your wardrobe here. I only need the jacket. Thanks. Look, now you ain't gonna match everybody up. Hey, don't ask questions, would you please? Oh, now, he's talking about don't ask questions. Is this anti-trivia week? Oh, something like that. Just, uh, get the girls in the trailer, okay? Anything you want. Thanks. Hey, Mac, is that necessary? You wanna bet your life on his not being armed? No. All right, then. Hi, Miss Crosland. Ready to do business? We won't be doing any business. It was a nice try, Dante. But I figured out where you got the million dollars. You got it from your casino right here in town. And you got one of your little cronies back in Vegas to juggle the books and make it look like I took it from there to pay off Christie. Well, that's the way it was supposed to go, Alan. These guys threw in a little trick of their own this morning, but the way I see it, it's all the same. You're through. Boys are gonna want your head. No. Boys aren't gonna believe you. Don't you think they can spot a Bush League move for power? I don't have any reason to pay off my wife. There isn't anything she has that I want or need. She has this. And you're the only one that could have given it to her. Where'd you get these secret account numbers? I'm the only one in the world that knows them. I don't know, I must talk in your sleep or something. Guess that's the reason you stole a million dollars, huh, Lou? Uh, 
by Christie's silence? I'll be able to convince them I had nothing to do with this. They won't believe you. They'll be too mad. And the police are going to have that in a couple of hours. Right. We're going to get on this plane. And don't anyone try to stop me. Hey, Crosby, hang on a minute. I'm going to take them back to Vegas and explain to the guys what really happened. I'm not going anywhere. Look out! Get down! Today. That's great. We're a family. Danny, have you seen Mac around? Mac? Yeah, uh, he kind of promised to take us to the zoo. The zoo? Oh, hi. Hi. How are you? Hey. Um, look, I, I know we owe the magazine a few more shots for the ones we didn't get in the Caribbean, but I was thinking that if things were going pretty well... Uh, you'd like to get off early. Well, no. Sort of. Uh, Mac, I'm not used to you in this image, the father image. I think you have to change your clothes a little, maybe a pipe, some slippers, a little gray in the hair. We're just going to the zoo. <laughs> One second. Look, help me out a little bit here, would you please? You know, you don't have to be a father to like monkeys. <laughs> just a little bananas, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 